This is a video to show you how to unpack and assemble your new Street Strider 3i. What you'll need are a few tools, a pair of scissors to cut tape and cut zip ties, a blade if you like, or you can use a small screwdriver if you want to save your zip ties. What you should do is save all your packing material. When you open your box, what you'll see is a top tray and in that top tray will be a packet that has all your parts, tools, and assembly manual. Open your pack. Cut. Inside your pack, you'll find a number of items. You have a front and rear inner tube for your strider, a set of three reflectors that go on your wheel spokes, a front beam assembly that has your front beam shaft, bearings, and end cap, a few small parts, your push rod for your shifter and two crank bolts, a tool kit, and a packet with your owner's manual assembly DVD. In your tool kit, you'll find a set of Allen wrenches from 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2 and a half, a set of open end wrenches, a set of tire levers, and a 19 millimeter socket. Underneath the top tray, You'll see the front wheels, the front beam assembly, and the rear wheel. We'll start taking some zip ties off or some cable ties so we can take these parts out of the box. Now you can use a pair of scissors to clip these cable ties or you can use a small screwdriver and actually release the clip. If you want to reuse your cable ties or zip ties, there's a way to undo them. You pull the leader end back Use a small screwdriver, place it up against the ridged part to push down the little clip, and then you can pull out the zip tie. Then you can use it over again. Okay, I took the cable tie off of the front wheel that was holding this part. I took the cable tie off that was holding the foam over the joint one clamp. I'm gonna lift the front wheels out and set them aside. Now we can take off the top panel that holds the front wheels and this lifts out of the box. The rear wheel is then accessible so that can be lifted out and set aside. And then the rear panel that holds that rear wheel can come out and now what you see is the entire Street Strider sitting in here. It's folded up, it's got foam packing over it with more cable ties and it sits on the bottom panel. The bottom panel has cutouts on the corners right here so you can put your fingers on those. All four corners lift this entire apparatus out, set it on a table outside of the box, and then take off all the packing. The entire bottom panel was lifted out of the box and you can use a helper to do that. It's a little heavy and set on top of the table. We're now going to take some of the packing material off so we can see the individual parts. Once again, you can use scissors or you can use a small screwdriver to save the zip ties or the cable ties. With most of the packing material uncovering the strider and the cable ties that hold the upper strider pole and lower strider pole together, now these are separate entities and the lower strider pole platform crank arm, this can be set aside for later assembly. The left strider pole, upper part and lower part are also disconnected and now these can also be set aside. We've removed the lower strider pole and the ski and the foot platforms. What we're left with now is the frame sitting on the main support system in the box with two of the upper strider poles attached to the cables on either side. The support system underneath, as you can see here, is used to put the left hand crossbar joint down inside the bottom bracket here and the front bracket here to support that. We're going to lift this entire unit off of that system, set it on this side, and then move the other uh, support system out from underneath of it so now we'll have the frame set by itself. So we're going to lift this off and then move the strider pole on the right side over a little bit and lift this out of the box like that. Set it down here so now it's upright. Move this strider pole over and now take away the foam and the box underneath of it. So I'm going to hold on to both strider poles in the mainframe. I'm going to lift the whole 
frame up, and my assistant's going to take the package out from underneath of it. And then I can set it back down on the table. to start assembling. There's a little bit more to take off and there's a few critical parts back here. That comes off the fender. This piece of tape holds the bell crank comes off. There's a piece of plastic reinforcement back here that keeps the dropouts from being damaged during shipping. And this is where the chain is located under here. Take off some of this material. The chain was wrapped up underneath here to protect it from packaging. But in order to assemble the vehicle, you have to take the loop of chain down around this dropout and up this way because it has to wrap around the bottom bracket and the chain ring when it gets assembled. I'm going to take off the rest of the packing off the fender stays and the chain stays, which is where the rear wheel will be assembled. What we're also doing while we assemble is putting all the packing material back in the box. 